G'day guys, James here from Adreno Scuba Diving. Just gonna talk to you about some torches and some basic torch and night diving etiquette. Alrighty, so just looking at torches for diving. In a broad overview of torches, you've basically got two types of torch. You have wide angle torch, narrow beam torch, okay? Pretty self-explanatory to what they are. Um, most modern torches now you'll find are LED torches. The old style halogen torches generally don't provide that competitive level of brightness that you're gonna get. And for most recreational diving, you know, you're looking at sort of little torches in this kind of style here in a variety of lumens. Obviously, as technology gets better, you know, the newer torches become very, very bright in very small compact packages. I know when I first started diving, a torch this big would probably be about 200 lumens or less. Uh, fairly sort of clunky sort of unit to use. Whereas you look at something like this now, which is 1300 lumens, which is quite bright. So just to go back to what I mentioned before, you've got your wide angle torch and your narrow beam torch, which has a really big effect on how that uh, light beam presents in the water. So a really, really common thing, okay? People will just automatically go, I need the brightest torch ever. So really important to take into a few different sort of uh, considerations here. Um, the first one, what are you using it for? Um, what's the water like? What's the biz like? Um, you know, are you using a camera? Is it for video? Is it for still photo? A whole bunch of different things. So just to look at them briefly, um, we'll say we'll take the narrow beam torch. In my experience, I found the narrow beam torch is your best multi-purpose all-round torch. It creates a narrower beam of light. All right, what that means is based on if you're diving at nighttime or in bad biz, or generally speaking, okay, the beam of light just projects much further in distance in a narrow sort of column of light. So you can look, you know, a lot further away at smaller things. It doesn't provide that broad spread of vision. Versus something like this guy, okay? You're looking at a wide beam. Well, this is actually the Big Blue AL1300 extra wide, okay? This one, instead of having a narrow beam, it is a much wider spread of light. So instead of being, say, here, it's out to here, okay? But what that means is with this wide angle spread of light, it doesn't penetrate as far in the water. So instead of going say 10 meters or five meters, it's maybe going two or three. And the reason why is because this is more designed for use with a camera, video cameras uh, in particular. And you look at the small compact size, considering that almost everyone these days is diving with a camera in some capacity, be it a big commercial thing with strobes and all the fancy bells and whistles, or something small and compact like a GoPro, which is really accessible, everyone's got them. This, these guys are perfect for that sort of thing. Okay, you've got a little clamp there. Okay, you can, uh, there's plenty of mounting options to use with the GoPro, but what that means is you have it set for where you want to shoot because most little action cameras have got what's called a wide angle lens. So it means if you see a shark 20 meters away, you could film it when you pull it up on your screen. It's not going to look very good. People will just go, okay, there's a shark. For those wide angle lenses, it's very, very important. You know, if you want to get good photos of things, that you get the distance right. So it means you can adjust the torchlight on a wide angle beam to a significant depth of field to be reflective of what you're using the GoPro for. So say I've got something here right in front of me. Okay, I wanna be close enough to it. You adjust the torch so the beam spread of light is around it. You might have a second one. So you've got good illumination over your whole subject. The reason why a narrow beam torch like this guy is not ideal for that is if you've got a wide angle lens and say your beam focus of light is sort of 60 degrees, 40 degrees or whatever it might be, you've got a, you're filming it, it just means you're gonna get a nice big circle. It's called a hot spot in the middle of your lens. So in the middle of the image. So you'll have all this sort of dark matter around it, okay, dark space. It won't be illuminated effectively. You'll have the narrow focus of light. So, you know, really good for looking at stuff, just general usage, okay, or as something to use on a night dive, okay, but not, or, you know, if just looking under crevices or, or whatever, uh, in a wreck or something like that, but not ideal for video, okay? And then you've got something like this, which is called, it's a VTL, your video, video technical light. These are designed as a bit of a multi-purpose sort of function. Basically, you know, you've got, you can't really see it here, but there's a red function on there, so you can turn the red light on to be prepping for photos or for you know, getting video at a certain depth. Uh, you've also got, they come with a ball mount. Okay, you can sort of see that here. Goes to there. You can use your standard traditional clamps to go into a bigger camera using a much bigger setup. Okay, generally speaking, these are a wide angle, much brighter. These are about 3,800 lumens, so you're gonna get a lot of brightness there, but very, very good if you're taking photos of bigger subjects 
or using a bigger camera where you are filming underwater. A really, really handy little bit of kit there. So just to go over quickly, a couple of minor things that a lot of people don't realize when you're using a torch. Obviously everyone knows their signals for diving. You're okay, up, down, not sure, something's not right. All those kind of things, turtle, if you're looking at symbols, um, you know, for fish and that kind of stuff. Um, but for night diving, a really common, uh, common thing, or using a torch in general, the okay signal, probably the most commonly used in diving. You can give everyone the okay, you can look at people. Obviously, when it's dark, it is, or if you've got your hands full, so you're holding a camera and you've got a torch, a really easy solution, it's just doing the torch in a circular motion for O, for okay. The other option is get the torch if your hand is free at night, and just shine it straight on your torch for the okay signal so your buddy can go, cool, you can see the okay signal, you're good to go. The other one is if someone's trying to get your attention and you've got a torch, and this is really, really important. This is just general torch etiquette when diving, and it's really not great when it does happen. If someone gets your attention and then you look at them and point the camera straight in their face, they're gonna be seeing spots for the next three minutes or more based on how bright your torch is. If you've got one of these guys, it's gonna be a lot longer when they're seeing it. So really important to remember if someone is looking at you or getting your attention, or you're trying to find them, don't shine the torch in their face to get their attention. Shine it near them, okay, or get their attention with a rattle or an underwater noise maker or something like that. But it's really simple thing. So just remember, okay like that, or a circular sign, and just none of that stuff shining in someone's face.